Hey guys, Josh here with Nippon Imports and today we are looking at a 1994 Daihatsu Hi-Jet Climber. Uh, this is four-wheel drive and is AC equipped and I believe it's showing, uh, excuse the wind here, it is showing uh, 12,000 kilometers on a five digit odometer so we're going to call it 112,000 kilometers we're not going to be those guys that say that advertise their mini truck says oh 12,000 kilometers that's it when it's a five digit odometer unless we have proof of paperwork anyways we're going to call this one freckles here so on the photos this is going to look a lot worse than what it is i don't know this is just a lot of just surface rust. Like if this was to get sanded down properly and resprayed, um, it's really not that bad at all. Um, it just needs to be sanded down and sealed and resprayed, which can be done relatively cheaply. I just don't. Uh, this is why I do the videos. So you know, a lot of times, if you were to see that in the picture, you would think, oh, "My God, this thing is just." rotting away but it's not this is actually a uh, very nice truck um, this is my first climber that I've had uh, and I'm really uh, really pleased with the uh, the way it drives um, it accelerates really well um, it does have your it has the dog leg where you can select from high, neutral, to low. Uh, we do get asked a lot of times, can you tow something like this behind a RV? Yes, you can. So a good looking truck. Um, so besides the freckles up here, um, let's go through and point out all of the, you got a little scuff here. It seems to be a common spot for these mini trucks. They get scuffed up right there. The bed looks good. Again, just like very spotty stuff. Like it's not even, it's not crispy or crunchy at all. It's just surface rust, that's all. All right, and that I think that wraps up the outside. Inside looks good. Seats are still in good condition, with just a small tear here on the driver's side. The headliner it wants to stay for a little bit. But from what I've seen on the Suzuki's and these Daihatsu's, um, that headliner is the first thing to go. And that's not too far off. Alright. Let's go ahead and do a start up. The muffler is your cold start. As you can see, no smoke. All right. So, as you can see, it is a five speed AC. AC does work. Pretty sure it's gonna sound horrible on the microphone. You do have a economy mode here. That's pretty cool. Then you have your diff lock here. You see it shows up there on the dashboard. Alright. 
is for your truck bed right here. And then you can go from high, low, or high, neutral to low. Clutch feels good. Still very notchy. So, um, yeah. Good truck here. Let me do a little acceleration. I, I do get asked quite a few times to show the vehicle driving, so I will first gear. That clutch grabs very well. Braking, brakes feel good. Let's go back. Let's go into uh, low, so we're going to put that into neutral. Now we are in low. And that is definitely, that is definitely low. So everything is working properly. I'm going to go ahead and get out of low here. about it right there all right door cars look really good so for the year and mileage uh, this truck is in really good shape and I'm pretty sure if I'm not mistaken the climber is the uh, most sought after after the uh, for the Daihatsu. So yeah, 1994 Daihatsu Hijet Climber, AC equipped. Come on and get her. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Excuse me. Uh, and you can email me as well. Thank you for watching.